Hello, I'm Jasmine Garcia and today I'm going to show you how to make a watershed model at home. For this activity, you'll need the following. A large aluminum roasting pan, sheets of newspaper or any sheets of paper you may have, masking tape, sheet of white plastic, make sure it's bigger than the pan, a spray bottle, blue food coloring, a towel, two different colors of permanent markers, and blocks of wood or a book to lift one end of the tray. Look around at home and try to gather the materials as best as you can. Be creative! For example, I didn't have a sheet of white plastic, so I just cut a trash bag into a rectangular shape. If you don't have a large roasting pan, you can use a paint tray, plastic bin, or make a tray with aluminum paper. If you don't have newspapers available, any type of paper will do as long as you're able to roll them into balls. Even rolled up socks would work. You can pause the video at this time to find your materials and resume once you have all your materials ready. Good, now that we have all of our materials gathered, let's begin. First, grab your newspaper and crumble several pieces of paper into balls and rows. This will create the landscape of your model, so have fun with the sizes and shapes. The more variety you have, the better. Once you're done rolling your shapes, place them around your pan and use tape to keep them in place. When they're securely attached, place one end of your pan on wood blocks or a book. Remember, a watershed is an area of land that drains or sheds water from the highest point to the lowest point. By lifting one end of the pan, we've created our highest and lowest points. Next, lay your sheet of plastic out flat on a tabletop or the floor and smooth out the wrinkles. Try to make it as smooth as possible, but it's okay if there are wrinkles and folds you can't get out. Lay the sheet of plastic over the entire pan. Gently press the plastic down around the crumpled balls. Make sure there is extra plastic around the outside of the tray to protect the area from getting wet. You have now created a portion of a watershed landscape. The plastic represents Earth's surface, the lumps represent mountains and hills, and the areas between them represent valleys. Now, we'll focus on how water interacts with this model. Fill your spray bottle with water and add a few drops of blue food coloring to make the water easier to see. Make it rain by spraying water over your model and see how the rain moves around the model. You should observe the drops land on the mountain tops and trickle down towards the lowest part of the model. You should see the following features form. Streams and rivers, which are linear flows of water running downhill. Ponds or lakes, which are areas where water pools up in low areas. And drainage divides, which are imaginary lines along which the rain goes to one side or another. All of these features are part of the watershed. Once you've made these observations, use your towel to absorb the water from your model. Adjust the paper balls and plastic and make your landscape as realistic as you can. Then spray the model with rain again.
When you think you can predict the locations of streams and drainage divides on your model landscape, wipe your plastic dry and set up the model again. Use markers to draw your predictions for the locations of streams and divides directly on the plastic. Make it rain one last time to check if your predictions were correct. 